only you would show up at a party looking like a wreck. I'm not here for the party. I'm here to see you. As long as I can still see it, I want to look at you. Well, I'm hosting. You're always hosting. You spread yourself so thin. Come on, I've been waiting all day, all week. I need to know. Emily. What did you think of my poems? Tell me. I loved them. You did. Oh, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> I always love your poems, but these new ones, they were... What? Beyond. Say more. Please. <laughs> Come on, say more, say more, say more. Uh, reading them, it's like... It's like my... It's like my heart almost explodes. Oh, Sue. That's what I want. <laughs> That's what I want you to feel. Yeah. It's... Sometimes it can be almost too much. What do you... What do you mean? It's just that your poems, they... What? They make me feel things that... I don't want to feel. Do, do you ever talk to Austin about it? No. No, he knows nothing. And and you swore. I know. I did never to tell you. I won't. I promise you. I won't. God, look at me. I'm supposed to be out there hosting a salon, and I'm in here on the verge of tears. Why do you always do that to me? Your poems are works of genius. And you owe it to the world to let them be seen. I don't need the world to see them. I only need you. Well, I can't be your only reader anymore. It's not enough. You need more. And that's why I've invited this man tonight. This man who is going to fall in love with your poems. Apparently, you can write like nobody's business. She's a genius, Sam. I know she's going to be your new discovery. I just... I just think it's a little absurd, don't you? Absurd? That you'll be remembered as a baker, not a poet. Sue! Sue, wait. What is it? I went on a walk the other night with Sam. I know. He told me. He did? What did he say? He said that you're a brilliant poet and he wants to publish you. Oh, I was afraid of him saying that. Why are you afraid? Emily, this is an incredible opportunity. A man like Sam Bowles has the power to completely change your life. You should give him your poems now. I'm scared. What are you scared of? Getting published. Why? Isn't that your greatest dream? Imagine how good it would feel to be recognized. Sue, I need to talk to you! Emily, you look exhausted. Sue, I want to be published. You do? Yes. I have to be published or I'll die. You look gorgeous. I'm not sure I wear the right thing, Sue. Oh, darling, you look perfect. You need to stand out. You're New England's hottest new writer. Sue, what is it that you really want? What is the deeper yearning that you have? Sue, what do you mean? Beneath all of this nonsense about fame, what is it that you crave? You crave meaning. You crave beauty. You crave love. I have not seen you since the opera, and we need to talk. But I don't believe in myself anymore. Wait, what? I used to have this confidence, this power, but not anymore, not since I met him. And Sue, I hate to say this, but it's your fault. 
my fault? Yes, because you pressured me into this. You introduced me to him. You started filling my head with all these ideas about fame. And as soon as I gave him my poem, I lost everything. The flow I used to have, it got cut off. I used to be inspired by everything. And then suddenly, the only thing that mattered to me was him. I have to say, I... I feel better. I do too. Maybe you'll be able to write tonight. Maybe I will. Sue? It's okay. Nobody's here. Get out. Emily. We have to talk. I don't want to talk to you. I don't even want to look at you. Come to think of it, I don't ever want to see you again. You cared about him. Cared about him? You pushed me to care about him. You practically forced me to. It's like you wanted me to fall in love with him, but why? When you were the one that loved him the whole time. I didn't love him. I never did. You're a liar. I don't give a shit about that man. Why did you sleep with him? And why? Why did you keep telling me to give him my poems? Because I couldn't handle the things your poems made me feel. Your poems are too powerful. They're like snakes. They slither into me and they coil around my heart and they squeeze me until I can't breathe. They are glittering and venomous and they bite. I got scared, Emily, of you, of the way that you grip me, of the way that you poison me. So I thought if I pushed you a little, if you pushed me away, I'd become someone else's problem. Guess what? I'm not your problem anymore, Sue. You can go back to your perfect parlor with your fancy dresses and be as exquisitely empty as you like because I will never make you feel anything again. And without me? What? Without me? I don't think you know how to have feelings. You're right. Right about what? The only time I feel things is when I'm with you. What is it, Sue? Just say it! Is that I'm in love with you? I don't believe you. It's true. It's not true. Nothing you say to me is true. You're not even Sue anymore. You're a, you're a new person, a fake person. I don't even recognize you, and everything you say to me is a lie. Emily, I love you. Stop lying to me! I love you! And I felt you in the library because you're always with me. I can't escape from you because the only true thing I will ever feel is my love for you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <sighs>
could die happy right now. Not me. I feel sorry for the dead today. And me. Yeah. When I'm with you, that is the only time I feel alive. That's all I need. That's all I've ever needed. To make you feel that way. I write for you, my Sue. I write for you. For you alone. That's enough. I will never let go of you again. <laughs>